India can become a global powerhouse for manufacturing submarines. Now, this statement has been issued by German submarine manufacturer Tyson Krupp Marine Systems. As the Indian Navy nails finalization for Project 75I for new AIP-powered diesel-electric attack submarines, the biggest question is whether the new deal would help India challenge China, which is building the world's largest submarine fleet. And will the Navy's Project 75I spark a submarine manufacturing boom in India, helping India become a net defense exporting nation? An Indian nuclear-powered submarine anywhere in the South China Sea or Western Pacific regions can target all of China's power centers one by one, just like Indian coastal cities of Mumbai, Kolkata or Chennai would be the first targets of any Chinese submarine strike. Chinese submarines are critical not only to safeguard India's national security, but being largely invisible, they are the most potent weapon for lethal counterattack and a counterstrike. The uncertain geopolitical dynamics have led to an increasing demand for submarines in Europe, South America and South Asia. Giving a major boost to India's indigenous defence manufacturing and Indian arms exports capabilities, Oliver Buchhard, CEO of the Tyson Group Marine Systems or TKMS, a global leader in conventional submarine technology, has spoken in favour of India. He has gone ahead to position India as a potential submarine manufacturing powerhouse. This could become possible with a strategic partnership between the TKMS and India's Mazgon Dockyard shipbuilders, jointly bidding for Indian Navy's Project 75I to build six advanced AIP-enabled submarines in India. The government of India issued a tender worth 50,000 crore rupees for building these conventional submarines. The project, slated to give a major boost to the Make in India campaign, was cleared by the Defence Minister Rajnath Singh during a meeting of the Defence Acquisition Council on the 4th of June. Larsen Tubro and Mazgon Dock have chosen one each from initial bidders, including firms from France, Germany, Russia, South Korea and Spain, while Germany and Spain remain the final two contenders and both are pushing for a government-to-government -government deal with India. What we know so far is that Germany, who had opted out of the submarine deal three years ago, made a dramatic U-turn and re-entered Project 75I for the Indian defence deal. Germany has shown keenness to engage in the project, hailing it as a flagship pact between both the nations, especially after German Defence Minister Boris Pistorius visited New Delhi in 2023. Aiming to further strengthen military cooperation between India and Germany, Berlin eased export restrictions for India in April 2024. According to report in Eurasian Times, Germany is offering its SDW-class Dolphin submarine based on the AIP system to the Indian Navy. So how is Spain involved in Indian Navy's Project 75I? Larsen and Tubro and Spanish firm Namantia signed a teaming agreement, which entails the two companies to showcase their AIP system at a Spanish naval facility at the end of June. So we are expecting an update any day now. This means that the next phase of the trials to evaluate the air-independent propulsion system of these submarines will be held in Spain. An AIP-equipped submarine can easily stay underwater for longer durations, up to two weeks, and do not need to surface or snorkel to frequently recharge its batteries. Spanish shipyard Navantia's chairman, Ricardo Dominguez, reiterated his full support to India, saying, quote, This includes expeditious export clearance, signing an umbrella agreement with the Indian government, our partner LNT and we are fully geared up for these trials and we would look forward to showcasing our world-class EIP technology to the Indian Navy." Unquote. The Spanish firm has also offered the Indian Navy a design of an S-80 submarine commissioned to the Spanish Navy in 2023. The design can be used by the Indian Navy without any scaling up as the SAT readily meets all the technical requirements. Spain is expected to formally begin with the transfer of technology requirements in line with India's strategic goal to achieve self-reliance in the submarine domain. So can India become a manufacturing hub for submarines? It surely can. The European nations are looking towards India for production, investment in its defence corridors and a move away from unreliable and difficult choices like China or even Russia due to the ongoing Ukraine war and tensions with NATO. India is on its path to becoming an attractive destination for defence manufacturers looking to shift their base to cost-effective countries. Just like Sweden's Saab for its Carl Gustav weapon, the Tata Boeing facility for Apache fuselages or the upcoming GE initiative for fighter jet engines. Indian SMEs are playing a key role in global manufacturing by leveraging lower costs and increasing local demand. Meanwhile, the DRDO has perfected an indigenous AIP system. 
which will be used to upgrade India's existing submarine fleet. But what does India's current submarine fleet consist of? India is leveling up its nuclear submarine game to acquire big teeth and long legs. It currently operates 16 conventional-powered diesel-electric submarines and two nuclear-powered submarines are in service. Out of the 16, five are Scorpion-class submarines, which are brand new. Four are German HDWs, which are more reliable. And apart from this, India has also seven Russian Uno-class submarines. India is all set to commission its second indigenous nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine, which will enter service by the end of this year. INS Arighat, the indigenously built vessel, will be an upgraded variant of the in-service SSBN INS Arihant. A third, yet-to-be-named nuclear submarine vessel was launched in November 2021. Now, satellite imagery taken at the shipbuilding centre revealed the secret Indian nuclear submarine codenamed S-4. According to Eurasian Times, there is a possibility that this secret nuclear submarine has already been inducted into the Indian Navy. A contract for the release of another Russian SSN was signed in 2019, under which the Akula-class submarine, to be known as Chakra 3, will be given to the Indian Navy. However, it has been delayed. The delivery has been delayed from the original timeline of 2026. Meanwhile, India has held initial discussions with strategic ally France to build six advanced nuclear-powered submarines for the Navy. China's growing maritime power play has pushed India to build its own naval strength. In a significant development in March, India deployed 11 of its submarines to counter China amidst its growing presence in the Indian Ocean region. Now, this was done in retaliation to six to eight warships from China, which had been deployed in the Indian Ocean at that time. So should India boost its submarine strength as a deterrent against China? US intelligence says that PLA has 60 submarines, including six ballistic missile nuclear submarines, six nuclear-powered attack submarines, and 48 submarines powered by diesel and air independent propulsion, or AIP, also known as hunter-killer submarines. China's big ambition, however, remains to challenge American naval dominance in the vast Western Pacific and West Philippine Sea. India's ongoing submarine building efforts could increase pressure on China and greatly fortify India's deterrence posture. Does India have an edge over Pakistan's submarine fleet? Pakistan is all set to acquire the first of eight Chinese-built Type 39B Hangor II submarine. In the face of growing Indian anti-submarine warfare capabilities, the one-class submarine do indicate a paradigm shift in Pakistan's subsurface fleet. The 39B submarine is equipped with AIP and possibly submarine launch cruise missiles. However, considering Pakistan's precarious financial situation is unlikely to improve soon, it is economically unsuitable and unsustainable to constantly maintain a large fleet of operational submarines. So the big question is, will the Indian Navy's Project 75I give India the edge over its regional rivals and propel the country to become a global submarine manufacturing hub capable of challenging China? Leave a comment, hit the like button and subscribe to InConnect News.